Hello, Year 3. Today, what we did was we looked at autobiographies and biographies in English. The learning objective was to understand the difference between an autobiography and a biography. And by the end of uh, the section, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to explain features of both of these autobiographies and biographies. We'll be, we'll be analyzing what is the same and the difference about the two styles. And our final writing piece for this topic is going to be writing a bio, bio, biography about a famous paleontologist. So a biography is a type of a recount. The purpose is to retell events, tell what happened and or tell a sequence of events. Some examples are a personal story, a diary, an experiment, retelling events, a biography, autobiography, or a newspaper article. We've already covered newspaper articles earlier on the year, and now we're going to be looking at doing biographies. Now the structure of a recount first sets the scene. So we have our opening paragraph or our introduction paragraph, and then it tells again, recounts events as they occurred. So in chronological order. And then we also have something called a closing statement which tells us everything that happened in our writing, in the text. So it sums up the main points of our text. Now, the language features we're going to be using is past tense, first or third person, have a look at the video. First is me, third person, he, she, it. Remember, first, I, third person, he, she, it, okay? And we're going to also use conjunctions, joining words to join sentences. And um, recounts also make sure they focus on specific people or events, not just general topics. It's about someone or something that happened. Now, a biography, as we learned, is a factual life story about a person written in order, time order. So it's not about an imaginary thing. It's about facts, using facts. <clears throat> biographies are not written by the, the, the person themselves. It's written by another person. That means we're using the third person, he, she, it. But it can also be about someone who's alive or someone who is no longer alive. Other important features of a biography, we, have, we should include information about things like when and where the person was born, what about their childhood, if this is important, important events in their lives, and including information about what they did and or achieved. If the person is no longer alive, it may also include information about when and how they died. The biography may also include direct quotes from the subject. So we could include what they said and or quotes from other people about the subject. So maybe a specialist knows a lot about this person and they want to be quoted into your writing. What does the prefix auto mean? We discussed this, we had automatic as an example. Auto means self. There, therefore, autobiography is self-written, written by ourselves. It's an account of someone's life written by the person in chronological order again, in time order again. And it's different, different because it's written in the first person, I, 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 we. So when we do this, we explain important events in our lives. We could write about what has made us be like how we are, what has influenced us, and other details or feelings about different experiences that we have had. Remember the difference, auto means self, by itself. So we walked through this quick quiz and we could see that some of them are biographies and some of them are autobiographies because we can look at the first or third person pronouns. So we can use he, I, hers, she, my. And then we had a quick look at the famous faces task and we looked at their text to see how do we know whose writing it is and we could tell because we've used he for Alexander Graham Bell. And if we know about Alexander Graham Bell, we know that he was an inventor. And then we also know about um, Anne Frank. If we don't know about her, we can always find out. 
She hid from the Nazis in the war and it uses I, so it's autobiographical. But autobiographical, sorry. <laughs> And then Vivian's got Ronald Dahl books. She loves Roald Dahl books. And again, we have a look through the text and we can see that he, so it's a, uh, it's a, um, oh, whoops, this is not right. It should be biographical, not autobiographical. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's draw a little annotation there, guys. <laughs> it's biographical because they used he. And um, uh, we know that he's a writer and it says his story. So we can match that one. And Jessica Ennis, she lived in London and it's autobiographical because we use I. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for coming to our class. We'll see you next time.